The graph of f of x equals x plus 2 quantity squared minus 4 is shown below on two separate grids. Sketch a graph for each transformed function. Write the new vertex form of the graph created. So remember when we reflect over the y-axis that everything is just counting. So I usually start with the vertex here. So this is 1, 2 away. So 1, 2 away. And then this point is one space away from the y-axis, so this one is one space away from the y-axis. This point is on the y-axis, so we're going to keep that point. And this is one space away from the y-axis, so one space away. And in fact, the only thing that's happening here is that we're moving this graph. We're flipping it. We take this and we're flipping it over the y-axis. So the pattern doesn't change. One space to the right, one up, two spaces to the right, four up, and so forth. So here's our graph, our new graph. And then our vertex form. Well, our vertex is 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, negative 4. So when we write this equation here, I know that it says reflect over the y-axis, but we don't even really need uh, that in the problem because we can write the equation of this graph without writing reflect over the y-axis in there. So y equals x minus 2 squared minus 4. It is really a little bit more complicated with writing the actual reflect over the y-axis in that equation. So if that's what you really want to see, you should work with your Algebra 2 teacher to write it in that format where you get the negative x inside the parentheses. Same uh, parabola, also known as quadratic, over here on part B. And what we're going to do is we're going to reflect this over the x-axis. So we're going to take this. Oh, let's see if I can do it here. Take this. Nope, I can't do it very well. Just there. We'll, go, we'll start here and flip it over. There we go. Is what we're going to do. We're going to reflect over the x-axis. So you're counting your points from the x-axis. So if we look at the vertex, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Think back to your geometry days. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Uh, this is on the x-axis. This point is still on the x-axis, so we're not going to move it. But this point here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we can continue there. Or we can notice the pattern. But here comes our picture. Our vertex of our new graph here is negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 2, 4. And if we write this in the format y equals in the uh, vertex format, it's x minus negative 2 squared plus 4, double negative becomes a positive, and then we need the reflection here, which is there.